Live from Studio Ho Ho 46, this children is Good Morning Union Canal. <laughs> Good morning, Union Canal, a place where we show respect, show responsibility, show safety, and do our job. Please rise for the salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag. And now, let's say our Union Canal Creed. Today is a new day to reach my potential. All right, you may be seated. And now, Let's get jolly. Friday, December 4th, 2020. It is mercifully still day three in the special schedule. The answers this morning are given by me. Today's lunch is breakfast for lunch. Did someone de say breakfast? Oh, hey, Bryson. Uh, what are you doing here? If you're asking that question, it's already too late to help your... <clears throat> We're talking Dutch waffle and or yogurt cup crispy tater tots. Pauline, give me some of your tots. No, go find your own. All right, well, thanks, Bryson. Hey, I'm not done yet. Oh, sorry. There's also apple juice, fresh fruit, and vegetable bar and milk. Okay, now are you finished? No, I'm not. Bryson, what else could you possibly have to... Whoa! Why can't I remember this? All right, well, on the salad bar is a muffin meal. Oh, guys. You know, if you want to be like the big man in the red suit, get the muffin meal. Because if you get two muffins and you eat two muffins every day, I guarantee you, you're going to have the same body type as Mr. Chris Kringle here, okay? Also, the fruit cup and the, that doesn't really matter. You're getting muffins, okay? Muffins for lunch. Part of your balanced breakfast. Sandwiches of the week. Just get muffins. would like to wish happy birthday for today to Sierra Davis, Monster Poster Contest winner Nards Galan, and Parker Wright. And for over the weekend to Allison Allen, Aiden Weichel, and Zoe Shuey. Happy birthday, you guys. I'd also like to welcome all of our guest teachers who are with us today. Today's top stories are, guys, you know what? Christmas will be here before you know it, okay? Time is fleeting. Time is a human construct that really makes no sense when you think about it. But Christmas will be here before you know it, regardless of all that. And you know what? Because of that, it's time that we have another contest. And that's right. It's time for an Elf on the Shelf contest. You can make your very own Elf on a Shelf. Today is when you need to submit those to me by. Try to get them in. Try to submit them to me. Tell them to your teacher. Here's how you do it, guys. Think of a teacher or a friend or anybody. I don't care. Just think of a name that 
Someone that you know, someone that goes to this school, preferably, submit that name to your teacher with a rhyming word. Think of a word that rhymes. Submit it to your teacher. And guys, sorry, next week, we will be showing these, as many as we have. I have a whole bunch so far, but I could use some more. The more we have, the more time we can waste. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I'm talking about? So, get those in. Now, just in case you're completely confused because you know, I didn't practice any of this and I kind of flubbed over that a little bit, no need to worry. Because we've got a few examples today to help get you started. Dusty the Elf was Santa's helper. Dusty the Elf just loved to try. But when he worked for dear old Santa, Dusty the Elf could only cry. That's a good one. You know what? I, it's Friday. Can we show it? Let's show another one. Dusty the Elf was Santa's helper. Dusty the Elf just loved to try. But when he worked for dear old Santa, Dusty the Elf could only cry. Oh, when he stubbed his toe. Um, when he hammered his... Oh, that's a good one, too. That's a great one, too. Um, I'm feeling lucky. Let's roll the dice here. How about another one? Dusty the Elf was Santa's helper. Dusty the Elf just loved to try. But when he worked for dear old Santa, Dusty the Elf could only cry. Oh, when he stubbed his toe. Um, when he hammered his... Ooh, these get better and better. Uh, okay, how... one more. One more. Here we go. Final one. Dusty the Elf was Santa's helper. Dusty the Elf just loved to try. But when he worked for dear old Santa, Dusty the Elf could only cry. Oh, when he stubbed his toe. Um, when he hammered his... Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for that one. Okay, guys, submit them, get them in, and we'll start seeing some new ones next week. All right. Well, you know, guys, this year is unlike any other year because there's never been 2020 before ever and hopefully there never will be ever again but you know because of that we've had to kind of change some things we've been doing and we've had to make make some adjustments here at school but you know guys some things never change some things never change for instance um a little man that well not really a man a robot that hasn't really appeared on our show very much recently is uh Someone who I have some very traumatic experiences with. Of course, I'm talking about Litspot. Now, if you're a younger kid, you might not really completely know who Litspot is. First grade especially. I've actually had some first graders say, who is Litspot? Why am I buying this merchandise and who is this guy? Well, first of all, thank you for buying the merchandise. And second of all, we're about to show you. We've got a very special uh, segment that we put together a long time ago. This is back from 2015. And it's uh, a way that you can learn to decorate your house. Not by me telling you. No, no, no. It's Lit Spot Decorating Tips. Merry Christmas. Lit Spot here to give you some good decorating tips for the holiday season. First, get a tree. Next, make sure tree does not fall down. Next, decorate tree. Decorate tree. 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 Cut. 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 Next, we have some lights. You may ask yourself, how do you decorate with lights? First, you get lights. Then, you put lights up, 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 no, up, no, no, <laughs> uh, uh, cut. Uh.
And don't forget, while you are decorating, it's always fun to sing some Christmas songs. Have fun out there, everyone. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all, all the, the way. way. Oh, oh what, what fun, fun it is, is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! hey! Oh, 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 how you doing? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, those were the days. 2015, am I right? <laughs> uh, you, you kids were alive back then, right? I guess. Who knows? All right. You know what, guys? I'm, I'm really happy having shown that old clip. But um, something that kind of makes me a little less happy is, um, well, how can I put this? Uh, it's uh, the fact that, uh, you know, sometimes our show, well, um, we get ripped off. You know what, when you uh, are in charge of a show like this that has, you know, hundreds of subscribers and, you know, sometimes almost 30 views per day, you're bound to make an impact across the county. And, uh, I, uh, for, you know, sometimes, sometimes nice things happen. For instance, like this Clipper magazine. Look at this. Uh, look familiar? You know, they're doing uh, holiday gift cards available, but leave the cooking to us. Take home Christmas meals. Um, isn't... Doesn't that look familiar? Isn't, aren't these my Thanksgiving recipes? Um, well, Clipper Magazine, uh, you kind of ripped us off here a little bit. That's okay though, I'm not gonna hold it against you because uh, I'm assuming I'm gonna get a royalty check for that. But, you know, there was something recently that was drawn to my attention that uh, shook me to my core. Now, I'm at the point in my life where, uh, you know, my, my, my YouTube algorithm pretty much shows me three things. It shows me uh, video games, it shows me uh, professional wrestling, and it shows me other morning announcements shows, okay? That's what, I, that's what it is, okay? I can't change it, that's where I am at in my life right now, and I'm okay with that. But the other day I was scrolling through YouTube and uh, something caught my eye, and I thought, mm, I better take a look at this, this looks very interesting. And um, I'm not gonna say who this is, I'm not gonna, because I actually don't know who it is. Uh, I'm just gonna, I, I think, I think the, the footage will, will speak for itself. Take a look. Lunches, hot ham and cheese sandwich, tater tots. Pauline, give me some of your tots. I'll go find your own. Well. Hope you're really happy, whatever school that is, um, because uh, I don't know if you saw this, but newsflash, we just did that today. And we do that every time we have tater tots. We've been doing it for five years, more, we've been doing it for six years, okay? You've been doing it, I don't even know how long, but we've been doing it longer, so that means you ripped us off, okay? So you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm actually not that mad, even though I'm yelling and the veins in my neck are popping, okay? But how dare you rip off our show. I expect a royalty check in the mail. I expect a free Christmas meal bought by the Clipper Magazine, whoever these people are. Maybe they did it, I don't know. But you know what? If you're gonna rip us off, don't just wholesale rip us off, okay? Why don't you be a little bit more creative about it, okay? Oh, that really grinds my gears, okay? So you know what? If you're watching whoever did that announcement show, from somewhere, knock it off, okay? I don't appreciate it very much, and it doesn't put me in the holiday spirit. Capiche? Capiche? And now, let's head over to Mrs. Martinez with the weather. Mrs. Martinez? Mm -hmm. Hey, you see, 
just here giving the weather, sitting by my beautiful fireplace, feeling a little toasty. It's been a little cold, so let me just share the weather with you. For today's forecast, we are actually going to have 45 degree weather. Oh man, if it was only 13 degrees colder, we would maybe see some snow? I don't know. Either way, 45 degrees today. Make it a great one and stay warm. Well, thanks, Mrs. Martinez, for me. And uh, it's not really Rudolph, he doesn't have a red nose, but yeah, that reindeer right there, my computer was blocking. Here at Good Morning Indie Canal, I am Mr. Bridenstine, reminding you to be a superhero. And have a great day and a great weekend. Oh, Jazzy Santa. If only you could make this non mobile train actually move. You know what I'm talking about? Keep going, train. Keep going, yes. Wow. How do you stop this thing? Oh, boy. <laughs>